guys, welcome back to New Dram Drinker. Today's video is another one that's a little bit different. Watch this video and then I'll explain it all after. So we recently have been sent some blind samples. Now, if you're like us and fairly new to your journey, this can be really daunting. We don't really do them off camera, let alone on camera. So we thought today we would almost do a beginner's guide to blind tasting. So I've got three whiskies, three different types of whiskey that I'm going to try and see if I can get the notes to know which whiskey is which. So I've got a sherry cask finish, a peated whiskey and a Scottish single malt. These are the whiskies that I'm trying today. So as you saw there, I've got Glendronach, an Ockentoshan and a Ben Romac. And I've got three glasses, black, blue and a clear. And I don't know which liquid is in which glass. So we'd like to give a big shout out to Bert Smedley. If you're on Twitter, you're probably aware of him. He's quite a character, but he gave us a lot of the uh, bottles that we've tried today. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so uh, what are you going to go in for first? Do you want to, I'll let you choose which glass because it's entirely up oh, to you. I think I'm just going to go centre. Blue. <laughs> okay, so just give us kind of what you're getting on it and what your thoughts are, your process of thinking, how you're nailing it down to which one you think it is. And I haven't had a drink or nosed a whiskey at all today, so these feel, this feels quite... <laughs> so I'd say this, there's quite a bit of spirit on here. Smells quite nice and sweet. There's a, there's a nice little fruity bit. There's definitely spirit there. I'm getting the spirit. I can feel that right in my nose. I would say there's some red fruits in here and maybe some sultanas. So I'm thinking, could be the sherry. I think you could pick it out just on the nose. That's a brave. Uh... It's, do you know what? It's putting me off a little bit. The spirit. There's ever <laughs> such a. I don't know what strength these are. Oh, pretty similar. Oh, the Ben Romac is fifty nine. Getting mm. any peat on there though? No. No. So let's see. Oh, there's a real tingle on my tongue there. That feels really strong. It does feel nice and strong. I'm saying that's very sweet. It's got a real fruitiness. But I don't think I'm getting any smoke on that. So what's your thoughts? What are you thinking? So I, I presume you've narrowed it down so that I can. I'm thinking, or the yeah, Glendronach. it could be the Glendronic. I thought that'd be it'd be fruitier though, so maybe it's the single malt. Oh, the pressure! <laughs> it's not pressure; it's just fun. That's what we don't want: is pressure. We just want to have a laugh, have a bit of fun doing it. It's not about getting them right; it's about enjoying. Just. I think I'm going to say. This one could be the sherry, unless I try something else and then you change, change my mind. mind. I'll yeah. allow you to change your mind yeah. if you uh, if you feel the need yeah. to. So. I'll let you place them all and then we can have a <laughs> shuffle around once mm. you've tried the others. So at the moment you're saying you think that's the sherry. Yeah, the it fe that felt really spirity, but I don't know if that's because it's literally my first drink mm. of the day. Like I feel like that's quite warming. Okay, I'll move on to the next one and then uh, it might right, help with the clear. first one. Clear. Mm. <laughs> That's really interesting. That smells really lovely. I'm gonna say multi and there's like another there's another note there. Mm. 
I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's the pee. <laughs> that's the Ben Roman. There you smoke. Go. <laughs> Instant smoke. There's like a maltiness. Yeah. It feels really it tastes really malty. I didn't I don't know why, but I didn't expect that to be the peat. Right. Hundred percent that is the smoke. <laughs> it's not as sweet as some that I've had that are peaty smoky. But you know what's really interesting? That's fifty nine point nine volume. I would say the blue one. That definitely has tasted stronger, more yeah. spirity for me. Okay. Whether that's because it was my first drink of the day, I don't know. I suppose the question is, what, what do you think to that? Because that is kind <laughs> that's of really nice. peat smoke, which mm. is your kind of coming into that kind of now, aren't you? So, Jack, is it a nice drum in itself? It is. It's not as sweet as the smokes that I've tried recently. Right. So. Is that good or bad? Um, yeah, it's not bad. It feels like, you know, if you're at a bonfire or a campfire, and have you ever had, like, you know when you can taste the smoke and uh, smell the smoke on your clothes? I can mm. actually taste it in my mouth. Right, okay. I feel like the roof of my mouth cool. has got... So smoke. we pretty much know what that one is then, you think? So I'm hoping I haven't... Um, <laughs> Let's try the next one in smoke. <laughs> I'm hoping I haven't... Uh, do you think I can have some water? I might need some water. I'm hoping I haven't um, chased my palate there. <laughs> Just going to swill. Have a little bit of a drink of water. Oh, I feel... My throat feels really warm at the back. Mm -hmm. This is a nice way to spend an afternoon. Oh. <laughs> mm. That's interesting. Could this change the uh, yeah. the setup? It doesn't it? it doesn't smell very pleasant. Okay. As in it doesn't make me want to go, ooh, let's drink yeah. that. So that's softer to drink. It's easier to drink than the Glen, the sherry one. Sorry, that I've put on the sherry. Mm. But there is a sweetness there now. Mixing them now. Delving deeper oh, now. I don't know. Don't confuse yourself. It's hard. Hmm. <laughs> that doesn't taste as sweet. That's very nice. So that's so I'm nicer going... on the palate than it is on the nose then. Yeah. And this is nicer than the one yeah. that I've put in the blue glass that I think is the Shero. Yeah. But I don't I'm not getting as much fruit. So I'm thinking this is the single malt. So is that your final? So I've said the black glass is the single malt, the blue glass is the sherry, and the clear glass is the peat. I don't know <laughs> how I've done, but we'll just see. Okay, so I will tell you that the blue glass is the sherry. Yeah. The Glen Burn at 12. Uh, the black glass is the Ockentoshan. So you got that right as well. Mm -hmm. And the clear glass obviously is the Ben Roma. That was good. It's stroke. Do you know what? It's actually harder than you think. Like in my <laughs> head, because they were so different, it was like, oh, a peated, a sherry, and a single malt. I'll be able to pick those out easy. You question everything. Yeah. I felt the pressure, yeah. like and I think because the the Glendronic sherry wasn't hugely sherry, it wasn't like, oh, this is like eating cake and sweet. But yeah, it was good. And the Ben Roma, I definitely did not get the peat smoke on the nose. Oh, so it could have been. A, yeah. A, a, a but when, as soon as I tasted it, 100% yeah. it was that. So, awesome. uh, so you got the three out of three. I did quite well there, yeah. didn't I? Yeah, did that was good. I wasn't sure. I'm no, going to say no, I wasn't done convinced. This. Would you say it's a good thing to do as a starter, kind of? I think it's a good thing we should do more often. Yeah. I genuinely feel like I... I really thought about what I was drinking. Yeah. You know, sometimes when we do a review, like in my head, I probably know that it's a sherry cask or I probably know that it's a bourbon or whatever. So you kind of have a profile already building in your head. With this one, I had no idea. So I literally was, and obviously we did it really fast because we don't want this to be the longest video in the world. So it was like instantly what I got straight away. So um, 
I think it was good to challenge my brain and I think I will be repeating this. We've had the Glendron at 12, that's our bottle. Yeah. So would you buy either of the two? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Gavis? I liked the Ocantotion. I think I would like to sit with that one. Yeah. Because initially, I wasn't, you know, the nose, but I think it, that could be an interesting one. Yeah. And the peat smoke, I like it because for me, I feel like I've done sweet and peat. This to me was peated without the sweet. It wasn't, uh, sorry, smoke. It's not peated peated. Um, it is more smoky, but it's not sweet. So I almost feel like that's another angle yeah. that I should try, you know, because on my peat journey, you need to try them all, don't you? So um, I definitely would buy them, yeah. Cool. And yeah. when we say Bert gave us the bottles, he actually gave us them in the form of heels. Mm -hmm. Now, when he got in touch with us to say that he was bringing us a box of heels round, we didn't have a clue what heels actually meant, no. so Nicola and thought it was a box of shoes I for didn't it. know how he knew what size it was or anything, <laughs> so... Uh, so, uh, and we've talked to a few people and heels is, seems to be a, a fairly thing. kind of yeah. new thing to a few people, yeah. but it's definitely a yeah. saying. And I think he was clearing space on his shelf for all his new bottles, but actually it gave us a chance to try whiskies we'd not tried yeah. before, which was the whole purpose of him bringing them around. That's yeah. as well, I think he likes to share... He was sharing the experience, people, yeah. ...whiskies that they haven't so had yet, good, so... so. Awesome. Lovely. So you did three out of three. You put the pressure completely on my shoulders now for my mm. next bit. I wasn't convinced I got them right, <laughs> so don't feel the pressure. It's really, it's, it's almost like scary good. It's like good fun, but it's scary at the same time because I definitely felt I was questioning yeah. myself. So okay, yeah, right. So we'll set up Switch for over. me, and, and? Uh, these are the three bottles that I will be trying to guess. Okay, so as you've seen, we've had a bit of a switch around, and now it's Ant's turn to do the blind tasting. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, um, and she had to go and get three out of three, didn't she, just to make it even worse <laughs> for me. Okay, so as you saw from the picture, I have got the Aaron single malt, I've got the Tamdu uh, sherry, and I've got the smokehead peaty one, obviously. Um, so yeah, looking forward to see if I can pick them out. Uh, can't say I'm exactly kind of confident, but we'll give it a go. So. Uh, you're going to leave it up to me which glass yeah, I'm going to start with? Yeah, which glass are you going to start with? You choose. Oh, I'm going to go for the black glass. All right. Well, that hasn't helped because I was hoping to get the peaty one first. <laughs> <laughs> get it out of the way and reduce my odds down. But, but if you're not getting peaty smells, yeah, and, it has, then I it's suppose. probably, yeah. Mm. Okay, so I'm getting the instantly. I'm I'm thinking it's the the sherry one because I'm getting all that kind of richness, the 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 sugary, the sugars, the brown sugars, raisins. It smells very it's like a caramelized going on. Okay. Um, very Moorish on the nose, I would say. Makes you want to drink it, which is always a bonus. Absolutely. Go on then. It's a nice nose, though, you know. Mm. Yeah, I mean, a bit of a spice on there. It's a bit too, it's a bit too sweet, I'd say, to be. That it's, narrowing it down to the Tandu and the Aran, I would say it's a bit too sweet to be the Aran. I'm a bit the same as you. It's it's hitting me like it's going to be the sherry. But then that, I feel like I need to taste the other one to kind of complete. The cycle kind That's of thing. That's exactly how I was. And I think, because in my head, I don't know what a single malt scotch tastes like because there's so many different variations. Yeah. yeah. And we've never had this Aaron, have we? So I don't know. I've got no comparison with it yet. No. So I really, if you had, if I had to put my life on it now, I'd say that's the sherry. Well, so, you can change it. Yeah. Don't forget. So. You're saying black glass is the show. It's actually nerve-wracking, isn't it? <laughs> and you made it's me like, go yeah. first. <laughs> it's actually nerve-wracking. <laughs> but in a fun way. It is. It is scary. That's why I said it's like scary yeah. fun. Yeah. Okay. I, don't, I, I 
I think we did do it live once, didn't we, with Spirits People? Mm -hmm. And I think it went terribly wrong well, with us, bit, didn't it? I think because, yeah. This was, this was ages ago, though, yeah. so it was like a, at the very kind of start. And I think we had three different bourbons, and I think yeah, we're not there. It's too yet. much for us, I it? think this is why, this for me is the beginner video. This yeah. is the let's just pick out the flavour profiles for three very, mm. potentially very different yeah. flavour whiskies, which is where you need to start. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, right, which yeah. one are you going for uh, next? I'm going to go for the clear glass. Okay. Okay, so instantly not as sugary, not as. The nose makes me think I've got that one right. Okay. I hate that you're not giving me anything from the other not camera. At She's all. just a stone face Poker of like. Face. I'm like saying these things, looking at it, see if I can see an eyebrow right raised just to give me some kind of. But there's nothing. No, you didn't do it for me, so I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I need to do a disclaimer. He genuinely, 100%, has no idea which glass they're in. Same as I didn't. You'll have to believe us on that, but we're doing it. Oh, man, that's fun. just ruined all my plans. Oh, that's quite... <laughs> Nice. You know what the biggest problem is? Only doing three. What? If you get one wrong, <laughs> it's sixty-six percent of the three wrong, isn't it? Oh, now I'm torn, man. That wasn't supposed to be like that. Now I'm trying to pick out whether it's an Aaron rather than what Aaron it is, if you know what I mean. I still think that's Aaron, you know. I think that's... Oh, I've got to go back in on this one now. That's what I did. It's quite good. I'm on the nose. I still think that's more sherry. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. I think. I think that's right. That one, when you go back in after that one, seems like it's the Aaron to me. Oh, this is terrible. She's, she's gonna be so big headed if I've got this wrong and she got all three right. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that then. I think. So this one should right. be dead easy. Then. <laughs> if, this is, if this hasn't got any peat on there whatsoever, I'm in big trouble. Oh, easy. Yes. <laughs> Even though I know it's the smoke head, you've still got to try it, haven't you? Absolutely. Just, uh, just, just for you know, yeah. completists. Sake. Ah. <laughs> okay, so. That's a shoehorning straight away because there's no kind of denying that. Oh, these first two though, man. Would you like me to put you out your misery? I'm going to stick with it. Okay. So, you are correct, the blue is definitely the smoke. Oh, that's there. cruel! Yeah, the blue is definitely the piece. Oh. Yeah. The black glass is the tandu. It is the sherry. And the clear is the single malt Aaron. <laughs> yeah. So see, I, what I think Oof. I've learned from this is you do question yourself. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. But you do actually know what you're nosing and tasting. Yeah, I and think. I think that's almost, I feel like, if anything, I'd like to give people confidence mm. and say, you will get there. Yeah. That's what I, I feel. I think it was... There wasn't as much of a bigger difference between that and that That's to me. That's what I felt as but well with mine. I have got the knowledge that an, an Aaron has got a certain profile and I had to call on that rather than trying to pick out a single malt from a share. I had to, okay. try and, I had to resort to picking out an Aaron note rather than the yeah. Tandu. Which you know some I mean? people might not be able Which to do. Which you might not be able to do and I didn't That's think fine. I'd be able to do it yeah. to be honest but... 
I suppose that, that's what this is good for, yeah. isn't it? It makes you search yeah. for the things that you're kind of looking for. Well, I for. think for me, I felt, I always feel like we've got so much still to learn and yeah. so many whiskies still to try that actually I forget to look back and go, actually, we've come really far and we've learned a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, like you said, to be able to pick out the sherry from the single malt, mm. I thought it would be dead easy. I drink a lot of sherry cask finishes and I thought, oh, I'll be able to do this yeah. easy. But in the spotlight, it is scary, isn't it? I think my biggest problem is I'm quite heavily sherry and peat at the moment and mm -hmm. have been for quite for some months. So that's kind of what I tend to go for. So I've probably lost track a little bit of what just yeah. single malt actually tastes and, like. And there's like. so many different depending what um, region they're from. So yeah. you can't really pinpoint what no. you would get. So, so yeah. well done anyway. Awesome. Three for three. Yeah, Brilliant. good. Did you find that good? I really enjoyed yeah. that. It's a bit nerve wracking. It is, yeah. But it's fun, you know, it, yeah. it's meant to be fun. And that's the one thing with blind kind of tastings is that it can be very daunting, especially if you're doing it in a like you know hopefully when we all get back to normal you can do it and there's a lot of you doing it if you're with a lot of people who have got a lot more knowledge than you it can be very daunting because you don't want to look silly do you? Yeah. I mean, no one wants to look silly and you want to look like at least you're having a good stab at it but um i think this is a very good start yeah. this is three completely different whiskies that gives you a chance to at least get a couple right. To get the practice Yeah, and just get the practice and get the yeah. notes in. Definitely makes you think about it yeah. rather than rather than us trying to do, do reviews, trying to just recount what we're tasting and nosing and everything like that to you. It's nice just to be able to try and analyse it yeah. a little bit more and try and pick out which whiskies they yeah. are. So yeah, really, really good. Really, yeah, maybe really we need to do a few more of these. Yeah, like I'd say so. Blind tastings. Yeah, I'll definitely say so. So the question is, would you buy them again? I would, I mean, this one is ours anyway. But when and we finished it, will you buy it again? Is yeah, because I, I yeah. really do like that. This one's ours as well, we bought that one as one of my birthday presents, but you haven't tried much before now. Um, I'm, I need to try this one a little bit more, I think, because mm -hmm. it's peated, but I need, just need to live with it a little bit longer, try it for a little bit longer. And Aaron will always have a soft spot in my heart because I, there's just something about it. They're a very early brand on our journey. Yeah, and, and I love the new bottle. They don't seem to do an awful lot wrong, to be honest. No. I mean, we've got that one now which we bought the other day, which is the Amarone cask, mm -hmm. um, and that's very nice. I mean, when we do a review of that, you'll see the colour of it. It's like red it's wine. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Aaron will always kind of be in our journey, I would imagine. So, yeah. So, awesome. three for three, cool. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, again, thank you to Bert for sending us the heels that he sent through. Um, we've tried a few whiskies now that we never would have been able to before. Um, I know he does the Blue Glass Club um, on Twitter. I'm sure you've probably seen loads going on about it. His new club that he's set up. Um, so we can't wait to get over to a meet to spend some time with people in the flesh, shall we say. Um, other than that, if you would like to join our members club, the Certified Originals, um, there'll be a load of information at the end of this video. Just keep on watching a little bit longer and it will all be there. You can jump on over to the website, register and get all the good things that you get from doing that. Um, and other than that, I would like to say thank you. You know what I can do? Oh. <laughs> First time ever, kind of, <laughs> is a triple. <laughs> We've done singles and doubles, but as we always say here on New Drum Drinker, Pour it, drink it, enjoy it.